Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to Start Making This. This is the Xtool P2 CO2 laser. Cards on the table, it was given to me free by Xtool in return for three videos. And I thought to finish off the series, we would cut through all of the fluff and just go straight in with, is it any good? There's no disputing that this is one of the best lasers money can buy on the market, but Everyone's got one. YouTubers, Instagram, Xtool gave them out to every content creator that would accept them. And they asked us just to test them out and tell you what we think. Well, those guys are actually quite good with computers. Me, not really. And I thought originally that that was gonna be a bit of a problem because obviously this links onto your computer and the computer tells it what to cut. Without the computer skills, this, well, I thought this would be pretty useless. And I have to be completely honest with you, as a buyer, that would have put me off. So one of the things I'm going to include in the video is, well, should I have been put off by that? Or would this work for anybody, no matter the skill level? I will tell you from the start as well, there is one major safety concern that I need to tell you about, otherwise I would feel pretty irresponsible going through this and saying, yes, you should buy one without the warning. But don't worry, there is actually an accessory that should solve the issue. And for anybody who makes it through to the end, I'll tell you about some freebies that I'm planning on giving away. I'm gonna try and design one of those freebies and make it on the fly. I've had no preparation for that. I've just decided that right now. Let's clear up the obvious first. If you are completely computer savvy, you can get into all the design software and you can design lots of unique items and very quickly, then this is perfect. It's bigger, it's better, it's faster, it's more powerful than many, many, many other lasers that are on the market. And without getting into all the stats on it, that's just because it's more powerful and it has a different way of working for the simple people like myself. And actually, us simple people make up probably the majority of people in woodworking. We're good with tools, but this, this isn't really a tool as such. Not one we're used to anyway. But from the word go, I had no idea how to get the best from it. But I decided to embrace the change and give it a shot. I used it to make some basic signage for people that asked for it in the first video and a few other bits and bobs along the way. So is the price tag worth it for someone who similar to myself may not have all of the skills necessary to drag the best out of this machine, to live it up to its capabilities? Lasers come in all shapes and sizes. You could pay £100 up to four or five thousand pounds and then even from there you can go into the larger commercial size ones so with all those choices why should you go for something this big my initial plan was to take this and to have it up in the house and to run a side hustle off it none of that has happened and the biggest reason for that not happening is the safety concern that i spoke to you about earlier so i think it's about time that we addressed this because no matter what laser you have this this is a big deal and it also plays into the question of why Xtool? And why not a cheaper laser out there, something that will only cost you a few hundred pounds? Well, take away the fact that this is more powerful, faster, larger bed, has all of the extra accessories that go with it compared to some of the smaller diode lasers, there is still the safety concern. And this to me is, is top. It's the main consideration of why you'd go for something that is enclosed like this as opposed to an open laser. Now. I'm not putting myself out there as a scientist. I'm not putting myself out there as an expert in this. Fact is, this is burning. That's what it's doing, it's how it cuts. And what it's cutting, probably 90% of what people are using it for is a form of plywood. Plywood is made up of sheets of wood with glue and a lot of chemicals within it, things like formaldehyde. What you're creating when you cut all this plywood is quite a lot of smoke and fumes that come straight from the cut. If you look at most of the cheaper diode lasers, they don't have anywhere for that to go but straight up into your workspace. Unless you're using them outside, you're basically breathing in everything that you're cutting. And that doesn't strike me as something that's very safe and good for your health. Now, this has an exhaust port at the back and it comes with a pipe. But unless you have that attached to something that physically draws the smoke out, I was finding that actually just having that thrown out through an open door or window wasn't enough. I would say to you, if you're considering a laser, it has to be one that comes enclosed with a cover of some description so that you can actually exhaust the fumes 
and get them away from yourself. If you check out a fella called Suman, he's got a YouTube channel over in the States. He actually tested VOCs, which are the organic compounds that are poisonous, and he tested the levels with his laser with and without the extraction. And, oh, the difference is scary. That's why this machine, and that's why something similar to this is vital. But, sadly, on its own, it's not enough. With all the accessories this comes with, there is one accessory that I think above anything else, if you're buying this laser, you should get first, this. You may think when looking at the lasers, adding something like this is gonna take you well over budget, but what I'm gonna tell you is, don't get the laser if you're not gonna get yourself one of these. This attaches into the back of the laser. It's got a whole load of clever filters in it. Again, no stats. Have a look on the website for yourself. There's a link down below. It takes all of the fumes, sucks them out the back of the machine. It then filters them, and then it pumps them out through the exhaust outside. This makes the entire laser process much, 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 much more comfortable and much safer. This wasn't in line with where the channel was going. It's a beginner woodworking channel. However, I have found more and more uses the longer I've had it for this machine. It takes ideas that you have and it puts them into reality. So for instance, on Halloween, when my children tell me they're bored, I can quickly draw out a picture of a pumpkin. I can then scan it, send it through to the machine, cut it out and then give it to the kids to decorate and I can do all of that in the space of about 10 minutes. Again, it's not setting the world alight, but it's an incredible bit of technology that's helped take an idea through to a reality. However good you are with the design aspect, this will fulfill it. Me, I'm a two out of 10 on the design side. So I'm only getting probably 20% of the capability out of this machine. If you sit there at 80 and 90% and you're a whiz on the computer, you will get 90% out of this. I know that I'm the main reason holding this back. I know how depressing that is. This has the Xtool Creative Space, and I have exclusively been using that. There's no other software that I own that designs, so I've just been drawing up on that directly and then sending it through to the machine. It's not perfect. If you've got the talent above what it can offer you, then you're gonna find it frustrating, but for a simpleton like me, it is all I need to draw lines, squares, triangles, circles, and then blend them together to try and get the shape that I'm trying to cut out. But what if you don't wanna design all your own stuff? Well, have a look on Xtool Projects. They offer you this free space where all of these collaborators upload their projects, upload their ideas. You can go into different categories. I didn't even know this existed till a month ago. And there's a huge amount of ideas out there that you can now copy directly or tweak a little bit and make your own. And these little boxes, don't forget, with their finger joints are an incredible example of what one website can do to help you. But this could very easily just be the foundations for you tweaking the design to make something completely different of your own. And that kind of leads us into a really difficult area because I said in my first and second video that this could be the side hustle you're looking for. And well, that's not entirely true. And the reason for that is since having this amazing machine, I've had a look around at things that potentially I could do that I could sell on the side through Etsy or somewhere else. And it's only when you start looking that you realize that the market is vast. And unfortunately, people with bigger machines than this, the more commercial output, are maximizing what they can do with it. And the prices they're selling their stuff for is very hard to compete with. But don't let that put you off because with a computer and with this and with this, you could still come up with things that are very good little earners for you. So what I'm saying is, if you wanna use this as a side hustle of sorts, my advice is don't take this and try and copy what's already out there. Don't try and compete with people on the very simple things that are being mass produced for a reasonable quality and at a very good cost because you'll be stood by this machine all day every day to make a very small margin. If you want to get ahead with this as some kind of a side hustle, you need to think outside the box. There is the other side of it, and you could be making custom work and use this to customize it further. And I mentioned that with the jewelry boxes where you could customize it using the laser. That is where this could take your work up to the next level and earn you a higher price for something you've already made. The last thing I wanna do before I close up this video and tell you what the freebies are that are coming out, I wanna show you how a complete novice has managed to make this work 
in a logical way that I think works for me. And it might give you a couple of ideas because I'm gonna try and do this live. And we're gonna see how easy it is for a simpleton to give it a shot. So, first thing we're gonna do is connect. And then, as soon as you've connected, you can see the piece that you're gonna be working on with the camera. Now this is where I like to design on the fly. I'm using scrap wood in there, so it's a bit of a mess, but I'm gonna insert my first shape. I can see that the height up here is 15 by 15, give or take. Copy, paste, let's make a smaller one. Let's bring that down to roughly 10 by 10. If you want to do exact numbers, just go to the top and type them in. It's still got this little padlock here, which means that whatever you do to the side, you do to the end. And this is the clever bit. I'm going to copy and paste, and then whatever size my inner one was, which is 75, let's leave them grouped actually, I'm going to then put this at the same. That now slots inside the other one. But I want to go one step further. I want to put a little bit of text in here, pop it in there, but before we take off it, we're going to put that as an engrave. We're gonna change these to cuts, and there's a lot of flexibility you can do here. You can just drag and move everything around. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Basic words to say, you know what? Go easy on yourself. Now, we're gonna group all of this, and again, we're going to copy and paste, and then we're going to change the pasted one down to 75. And we're going to try our first cut. It's a bit of a messy board. Now you could join these two together, but for me, that is the most efficient that I want it to be. And then I'm just gonna send it over to the machine. Process it, check the preview. Yeah, start. Get it noisy and then we wait. So let's look inside. Now that's fun. That's the big one. That's the small one. I don't think I need to check these for square because I gotta be honest, I think the computer is about as accurate as anything, but if anybody is interested, they're absolutely spot on. I'm not saying these are something that you can make yourself rich selling, but they're good fun. And I reckon there's space for a start making logo on there. For those of you that stuck around to this later stage of the video, I thank you because I know this channel is a woodworking channel, a beginner woodworking channel, and this, this isn't something that you've signed up for when you've subscribed. But these came out really well. I'm not the first person to do this. Danes has made them, Glimpse Inside has got his own. As I said in the video, it became really clear that I'm not gonna make a side hustle from this. Cleverer people than me will, but not me. I'm gonna give these away as one of the freebies. But on top of that, I'm gonna give away some of these. If you haven't seen my French cleat wall, it's there behind me. It's there in every video. If you haven't seen the French cleat video, well, I'll tag it at the end. These were one of the biggest takeaways from it. They are so simple, so small, but so functional. If you're out there watching this video and you have a French cleat wall and you haven't tried these yet, post French cleat, I love it, at the start of your comment. First 10 people that do from the UK, I will send these out to you free. If you're not interested in French cleat, but you want a little bit of, uh, well, scrap wood cut into a square with some words on it and a logo, why don't you start your comment with it's cool to be square? Again, I'll reach out to the first 10 or so of you and I'll send you some of these. I know it's not a lot, but I know that the only reason I've got this machine is because I've got this channel and the only reason I've got this channel is because I've got you lot who watch it and support it. And I say it all the time, but never enough. I'm very grateful for that and I will never take it for granted. I will send out some freebies in the hope that I can pay forward a little bit of the love that I've had paid forward to me. Final thoughts. Do I think you should get one of these? Do you know what? That's up to you. If you think this is gonna help, if you think it's going to make you money, or if you think it's gonna give you fun, then yes. If the price tag puts you off, there are plenty of other products out there at a lower price, but please, Get something that's got the air filtration, get something that's not going to affect your health adversely. Because it's genuinely, it's the same as sawdust. We don't want it in our lungs in the same way we don't want these fumes in there. If you've been intrigued by what I've said in this video, there's a link to this down below. Cost you nothing extra, but at least I'll get a little bit of a kickback to grow the channel with. 
If you've liked this video and you love the French cleats I've just held up, French cleat video's there. Go check it out. If you've loved this video and you want to see the unboxing and the first couple of videos for it, click on that one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe and I'll see you over there.